Hey everyone, this is William with Robot Box. Today I'm going to show you unboxing my new DSO Nano, which I got from SparkFun. It's a micro digital storage oscilloscope. Um, it's sold by Seed Studios, which is a Chinese company, and it's three E's. You want to go check out their website. So, this is basically a handheld, ultra portable, lightweight oscilloscope. And I just got it in the mail. So, this is what it looks like. It's very light. Um, it's pretty obvious that they based it around an MP3 player uh, body. You got button controls here, and on the back, slot for battery, and I guess PCB there. So, also, also in the box, you got a back plate and some sticky tape to attach the back plate with some alligator clips and here's our probes they're not the best quality but they'll work for most applications and it's got kind of a, an eighth inch microphone jack that it plugs into here with right there and we got a case nice little sleeve for it and finally a battery just a lithium polymer battery that plugs into here. So by way of instructions, this is all we got here. No, not the best quality, but hey, it'll work. So let's go ahead and plug this up. Make sure it's keyed correctly. Slide it in here. So I guess ordinarily we would take this sticky and apply it and then uh, affix our back. Let me see if it'll turn on without that. So over here we got an on switch. Turn it on. You can see this. So um, this I guess is a stored waveform. So at this point, I don't really know what I'm doing. Just messing around. But the display is pretty nice. Uh, sorry if that's not in focus. And on the back here, we have our input jack for our probes. This is an SD card slot where we can store waveforms and a USB plug to update the firmware. And uh, I assume in the future, there might be some way to hook it up to your PC. So if you noticed on the box there was a Creative Commons logo. I believe this is an open source project so there might be some cool things coming there. Um, some things to know about this is it's only one mega sample per second. So that's a million samples per second so it's going to severely limit the type of signals you can look at. But for most hobby applications it should be pretty good. Um, and I'm going to take this to the lab and show you some waveforms and compare it to actual nice oscilloscope. But it's super light, something you can slip in your pocket if you ever need to, you know, analyze some signals on the fly. It would be great, great to take to a competition or somewhere where you don't want to take a bunch of your nice equipment. It's only a hundred bucks, and I bought mine at SparkFun.